Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to be learning the C out in C++. So if you guys have any programming experience in C, we were using a function called printf to print something to the screen, you know, which is the console screen. And in C++, we're going to be using C out, which is, you know, which offers more features than our printf in C. So the C out stands for console output, which is an object of OSTREAM class. I know, you know, you guys can't understand, you know, about this object and all, but just remember that this C out is an object of OSTREAM class and we're going to be learning about these classes and objects in some other tutorials. All right. The C out is an output stream and whatever we write to this output stream will be printed out on the screen. So first we're going to see how to use this C out to print some string or some text to the screen. So we're going to be using C out and then we need to use an operator which is called stream insertion operator, which is nothing but two less than symbols. And uh, then we need to specify the text or the string that we want to print to the screen. So I'm going to write in double quotes because you know string is written in double quotes and I'm going to write, um, hi, this is printed using C out. All right. And the next thing is if you guys want to add a new line, then you guys can add that using the ENDL and line and, uh, I believe that uh, I have told in a previous tutorial that this C out and this end line all are defined in a namespace STD, you know, we have which we have uh, already specified using the using keyword here. All right. Now, if I save this program and build and run this, now you guys can see here, you know, whatever we entered here, the text, hi, this is printed using C out is printed onto the console window or the screen. And here we can chain whatever the string or the output that we want to print to the screen. So once we can do that by using the stream insertion operator and insert whatever we want to print to the output stream. So here, if you, if I wanted to print something else along with that uh, previous line, then uh, I need to use the stream insertion operator again. And, um, and then I need to write that. For example, C out is awesome. All right. Now I'm going to save this and uh, build, build and run. All right. Hi, this is printed using C out. C out is awesome. Okay, I misspelled the awesome. No problem. All right. Now I'm going to close this one. So this is how you guys can uh, insert or chain the output to the output stream using the stream insertion operator. So now let's say that uh, or let's assume that we have certain variables. For example, we have an int variable which specify the age and let's say we have age of 23 and then uh, we have uh, float and uh, let's say average equal to 32.53 and also okay that's enough now if i wanted to print out all these things in one line what i can do is i can use c out then uh, let's insert some text hi anil and then again the stream insertion operator and then uh, the variable name here. So age, I'm gonna refer here. Just remember that, you know, we, do, we don't need to use the double quotes because, you know, the age is a variable and once we refer that, whatever value stored in that variable will be uh, inserted to the output stream. And then uh, add a new line, ENDL. And then again, insert the average, AVG, and that's it. I'm gonna save this one build build and run so you guys can see here hi anil which is the string or the text then the value of this variable age 23 and then the new line and then again the value of our variable average so if we compare this c out with the printf in c you know the c out is very easy to use because you know we don't need to specify any um format specifiers or anything like that so we just need to specify the variable 
no matter which type of data it is having so this is it guys this is about some information on c out thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you guys have any doubt or if you guys have any suggestion don't hesitate to put a comment and thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial